currently we have a problem in our society that is expressed with the concept of political correctness. Now, originally political correctness was a tolerance thing, and it was basically just keeping you from saying really racist shit. That's what it was originally, and it was important at the time, and it was good for television. But in recent days, we've had a few political movements that have pushed the concept of political correctness from the bounds of realistic expectation and understanding in the media to simplified drivel. Now, the actual progression of this thought, if you look through, if you timeline TV and you timeline the media, you'll notice that as the feminist movement of today, which is what we refer to as third wave feminism, which is bullshit, as this concept progressed where the genders are equal, but women are more equal than men. That's the total idea there. But what the feminist movement has pushed, the idea that's the real issue here, is tolerating the intolerant. It's all well and good to have political correctness, and it is something we should consider when we go ahead and talk. It should be something considered on TV, but it shouldn't be dictating what stories we can go ahead and discuss, and what events we can't go ahead and touch because they're taboo, apparently. In the media world, nothing is taboo. And the very concept of trigger warnings and over-concern for trivial things like political correctness and reporting the news creates a discrepancy in our society, where we have the very obvious concept, the very obvious skewed concept that the feminists started with and now Black Lives Matter are using, and a bunch of other groups are using the exact same thing, these concepts are extremely detrimental to us. And the thing that I'm talking about, which no one really wants to touch, is the concept that women are pushing, which is if you are a minority, if you are what they refer to as a marginalized sect of society, then basically you can do no wrong. As a white male, if I say anything negative about a woman, or a person of color, or anybody in general, of any inclination, whether they're straight, gay, whatever, if I say anything, automatically, it makes me a bad person. However, we have other organizations, and mind you, I don't believe everyone in Black Lives Matter is like this, but of course we do see the examples where we have these people that are so extreme even the Black Panthers wouldn't take them, and they're a part of the Black Lives Matter. And basically, they go ahead and say, let's kill all white people. Now, I don't know about you, but based on the definition that I was taught in school, that is crazy racism. Now, the concept that the political, correct, political correctness bullshit and the feminist movement go ahead and say is that if you are a black person you are not capable of racism because you are marginalized or my, my, I'm a, a minority. Therefore, you cannot be racist. That's just not true. Women can be sexist. Black people can be racist. White people can be racist. And men, white men, can go ahead and be sexist. Everybody can be pretty much anybody. But the thing is that when we go ahead and automatically assume that everything these people say is true, that nothing they do is wrong, and they go ahead and call for violence on anyone else, that right there is the very defining point where our society goes down the slippery slope. And instead of us protecting people and protecting a way of life and allowing people to discuss things freely, we start allowing this insane just idea that we have to be respectful of these other people that want to kill us, that want to do harm to us. But somehow, we are the racists. We are the sexists. We are the ones who are against Islam. We're Islamophobes because we don't want to be murdered. And we don't want people to go ahead and push the ideas that murdering us is a good idea. I, I don't know about the rest of you, but for me... If someone says they want to kill me, and they are pushing for someone to kill me, I think I have every right to fight back. Whether it's to go ahead and call the police on them, 
whether it's to go ahead and defend myself physically or to go ahead and bring it up in the media. The idea that political correctness, that I can't go ahead and fight back in any way because I'm not what you refer to as a marginalized person, because I'm a straight white male, therefore everything I do is racist, sexist, or Islamophobic. The thing is, I just, I don't want to lose rights that I have. I don't want to become inferior because someone else thinks they've been depressed by society. It, it's not on me that shit happens to you. Sometimes shit just happens. And if you have a problem with that or you can't see that, it's not my problem. It's a you problem. Like, comment, subscribe, enjoy it. I enjoyed saying it. So I'll see you next time.